It's recording. Oh, right, that'll do. Um, right, circuit fixed. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. And, uh, so, oh, what I'm going to quickly do, go through it again. Oh, sorry, a bit of Star Trek on there. Uh, of course, has to be obligatory. So it's uh, this circuit here, and I corrected a few bugs. That circuit basically, and I corrected a few bugs in this. Basically, I got the <laughs> for some reason I got these on the wrong power supply. So anyway, that's that. Uh, hey. <sighs> Excuse me, that's the circuit. Circuit and in the software. So in the software, I've incorporated the ability to switch the trinary modes because trinary is obviously three separate states, and it's a PWM which switches between two states. And so I'm adding in a key set to make it so I can just simply make it so it PWMs between the two states. So, like for instance, I've got. Let me just, uh, oops. Okay. So that's low high. Oh, it's gone up. That's interesting. I think it's just that it needs to restart, you see. So that's going between 5 volt and 0. You can see if I just put it on halfway, I think that's the issue was that it wasn't PWMing at all. So I can switch it to that and then high off, which means that it's actually on all the time, and then low, low off. So low off is off is when it turns it into an input, and so it has the three states. You see, and that one is turning, you see, and I can switch it there. And then if I switch it to um, low high, it's actually the opposite way. You can see how the PWM is going the other way, and the reason why is because of the way the PWM works. Not that it matters. Yeah. So, leave it there. There you go. And high off, because high off, well. It, high is already off because that's the high state you see and so that's why it's not working now it's actually just kicking because it, it's on full so if I turn it to low off there we go there we go there you go yeah, see. and it works really well and so I'm going to try and show you the uh, sorry the trigger. So if I make it, it's actually quite good quality. This. Let's right, change the trigger. I can. Uh, maybe not there. What's going on? Uh, oh, I see. Right. That's the trigger. I don't know why I changed the. Well, that's uh, so go for one, and then if I switch the trigger, there we go. So, and what I'll do is I'll just I'll see if I can catch it. Uh, oh, that's a good one. So here we have the down. Now this is actually on the output itself. Yeah, let's cross the output across the motor and you can see the switching time we've got one microsecond per division right and that's switching pretty much all the way in round about a third of a microsecond okay and then what I'm going to do is if I switch the trigger and then oh did it restart then it just does that sometimes when it's uh, in a bit of a tiz. That's a bit of a shame. I should try a reset. Okay. There we go. So if I memory it, 
again. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. And again, we've got the same one microsecond. And look at that. I mean, that that's like the most of that is like in. It's almost sweeping half of that in in. Well, it's a vertical line. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to switch it over so that it's actually on the uh, on the gate. I'm more interested in how fast it's switching the gate, really. Okay, there we go. And I should be able to... There we go. So that's the gate time. And the gate time's a bit slower. And I'll try and see if I can catch it on it. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay, and there is still on one microsecond, as you can see. And it's about half a microsecond. And we've got this kind of kick here. I oh, know it's not actually it's about one microsecond because it's about halfway there and it's finishing there, so it's slightly over. And then there's a little kick there where it's, uh, yeah, it's on full on. And then if I switch the trigger, there we go. And of course, the sampling delay is coming in there, so I can, I can just stop it. I don't know, it's not going to work, is it? No. I mean, it's this line here, here, and the rest is a sampling issue. And there you can see that line there. That's going, and again, we're still on one microsecond here. And the delay is, it's actually switching completely within a microsecond. So the off time is within a microsecond, and the on time is, depends on which you take, but it's somewhere between one and a half and two microseconds. So that's fine. So it's slower on than off which means it's the right way around because you need a faster off time you see uh, can I kind of get it? no it's not going to work it's, oh that's a pretty clean one isn't it? Uh, there you go, That that's probably more re representative and you can see there that's a pretty good one actually yeah <coughs> so it's working really well and that's a high side circuit so the next stage now is to um, add in the uh, the full um, is to do a, a single ended output and then we should have it working well shouldn't we I've got a capacitor in there, boosting the power pack just for when it's uh, switching. That's really clear, isn't it? Look at that nice wave. It's very square, and we're still that's on a five microsecond scale. So the full, it's one, two, three. Well, I don't know. Oh, and so we can just confirm the uh, sweep. There we go. It's actually 15 volts is the sweep voltage. Yeah, so it's going slightly over the 12. Mm -hmm. But the output itself, uh, if I just switch it to the negative, and then, oh no, that's, that's upside down, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put it on AC just so you can, so we can get it in. Bring the trigger up. So we see AC, so yeah, Ooh, it's going out of focus a bit. And there you go, it's 12, just over 12 volts is the sweep. So yeah. Oh, and just uh, the actual switching frequency. I can do it. Let's see. show you the sweep look at that now the scale there there we go 
So the scale, just, uh, well, you can see that it's sweeping. This scale is half a microsecond. Let's just take it up to the one microsecond. And you can see that it's actually, it's switching almost completely within like a third of a microsecond. And then you've got this kind of kickback, but that might be the, the scope itself doing, because it's AC, just so I can get it in. You're going to bring it in. There it is. Hey. Okay. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? It's a sampling thing. Yeah. But it's. Uh, can we get it in there? I think it's to do with the AC sampling. It's just messed up the uh, speed. But again, the mark is half a microsecond. Even if you take it as half a microsecond per second, it's still within one microsecond that it's switching. Although I think you'll find it's. If the sampling isn't working, oh, let's take it up one. Mm, see if I can stop it. Get a good one. Uh, okay, that's as near as we're going to get now. See, that's the sweep edge there, really. And again, that's one microsecond. You can see that's obviously sweeping within half. You know what I mean? And if you watch it, you can see uh, it's it's just the noise of the sample of the scope because it's a cheap scope. Yeah. Anyway, it works, and it works very much better than my simulation, I must admit. So we're going to proceed now to the next stage.